So this, this will definitely wreck your day. What's up guys, Mitch Crow here, and today we are going to talk about one of the dinkiest components in your stock Bronco drivetrain and how to fix it. If you want to avoid the embarrassment of this part acting like a hard breakup on the trail, then stick around and we'll give you the tips on how to beef up your drive. So this part, this seemingly insignificant little part can totally wreck your day. Don't believe me? Let's imagine for a second. You've been working on your Bronco for months trying to get it trail ready. Stress, pain, all that good stuff. You finally get it started up and ready to hit the trail. You pack up your lunch for the day, you bring your wife or girlfriend along, and pretty soon you're out in the middle of the wilderness having the time of your life. All the work you put into that hunk of American steel is finally paying off. And if you're lucky, your significant other is regretting ever giving you a hard time about the money you threw at this thing. So everything is going great. As the day is coming to an end, you come across the last heavy obstacle on the trail. With a smile across your face, you begin your climb. But all of a sudden, you lose traction and begin to slowly roll back. Out of instinct, you hammer the gas pedal. The tires dig into the back of the obstacle and you begin to climb again. And yet, just when you think you're about to conquer the final obstacle, pop! <laughs> How'd I get stuck here? <laughs> you slowly roll back down the obstacle. Your passenger demanding an explanation of the loud pop. And you know that at this moment you have to look into your loved one's eyes and tell her that you forgot to upgrade your transfer case output shaft. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Just kidding. So what do you do to fix this problem? And by fix, I mean avoid the initial breakage completely. This surprisingly common output shaft break can be avoided in a couple of different ways. The easiest way, and the way that we suggest, is upgrading to the assembled Extreme Dana 20 output system. Let's back up. Why is your stock output shaft breaking in the first place? Well, for starters, it's likely that your stock output shaft has been taking a beating for 40, 50 something years. When you think about it, your stock output shaft has been heating and cooling, the heating and cooling, the heating and cooling, and you get the picture. It's an old piece of equipment. Another reason it's such a common breaking point is because the diameter of the actual shaft is so small. Ford didn't have the type of wheeling that we do nowadays in mind, so back then it may have been cream of the crop, but today it just isn't going to cut it. And why isn't it going to cut it? The answer to that is axle wrap. Axle wrap is one of the most common culprits that causes your output shaft to give out. Axle wrap is a term used to describe your axle housing being rotated by the torque applied to the pinion gear. This process puts a lot of stress on the components of the differential drive shaft and transfer case. With this being said, when you put an old stressed output shaft into that situation, the likelihood of that part breaking is high. So back to the extreme Dana 20 output system. What makes it so great? Well, first off, it's brand new, which is always a plus, but more importantly, the output shaft has a 25% larger diameter. When you compare the 10 spline stock shaft with the 32 spline extreme shaft, you can see the jump in quality and durability right off the bat. With the added bulkiness and extra splines, the extreme shaft 
is 50% stronger than stock. Now, what comes with the assembled Extreme Dana 20 output system? In the kit version, you get the fully assembled Extreme Duty Dana 20 output unit along with the speedometer gear, housing, and cable. The installation of the new unit can take as little as one afternoon. But keep in mind, the new unit is roughly 1.3 inches longer than the stock output, so you may need to shorten the drive shaft. Also, there is an extreme kit available for your stock output housing, but that kit requires full assembly, whereas the assembled unit is ready to be bolted on. Either one is better than stock, but if you're looking for an easier project, we definitely recommend the assembled kit. So now you're at the decision making point. Do you stick with stock or show up with the big guns? There's really no question what the better product is. The only question is, are you going to settle for something mediocre or are you looking to add some beef to your drivetrain? The Extreme Dana 20 output system provides that beef and gives your transfer case a fighting chance against axle wrap. Now I will mention this, if you are looking to virtually eliminate axle wrap on your housing, the dynamic duo, the double whammy that destroys your risk of axle wrap related brakes is the wrap trap along with the upgraded extreme shaft. I won't go into details about the wrap trap, but I'll link the part in the description so you can check it out. I will be coming out with a video about the wrap trap at some point, so if you're looking for more tech info on that, keep an eye out. But anyways guys, the 2019 wheeling season is right around the corner. Again, do you want to show up having missed leg day, or do you want to show up with some beefed up tree trunks to hit the trail with? The Extreme Dana 20 output system is the problem solver that takes care of the output shaft being one of the weakest points in your Bronco's drivetrain. Don't be a victim of a weak output shaft. Avoid it with this exclusive Wild Horses part that enables you to feel confident in your drivetrain's components. So that's all for today, folks. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to subscribe. If it wasn't, subscribe anyways because Bronco TV, it's what we do. But anyways, as always, with all of that being said, we will see you guys out there on the trail. Peace.